I was dreaming of your mother's bread. Still warm from the oven. Keep dreaming if you want to eat today. Oh. Oh, oh. Nothing to eat and sleeping on stones. I'm getting too old for this. We must find work. Let me be the first to welcome you, Governor Pilot. You appear to be the only one to welcome me. Please make note of that, Governor. I am the only one to welcome you. A conqueror doesn't expect a warm welcome. Well, these people don't accept that they've been conquered, Governor. Well, they will. Judea is the most troublesome province in the Empire. So I've been told. Why? It's full of Jews. <laughs> <laughs> And who are you? Livia, Roman citizen. And why are you here? Well, a kind man would say that I am Caesar's historian. An unkind man would say that I'm Caesar's spy. Joseph and your son return? No. I'm sure they must have found carpentry work in Jerusalem. God willing. God willing. Pontius Pilate, most honored citizen of Rome. I, Herod Antipas, Tetrarch of Galilee, welcome you. I accept your welcome, Herod Antipas. And Caesar sends his blessings on your land and his kingdom. May I present my wife, Herodias, my stepdaughter, Salome, and your fellow Roman citizen, Livio. We've met. Please, come, sit beside me. I must say, this city surprises me. In what way, Governor? Well, the structures, they're most impressive. Built by my father, Herod the Great, beloved of his people. They hated him. Perhaps Pontius Pilate would like to see the grandest of all structures in Israel. The temple, built by my father, a personal friend of Augustus, as I am a personal friend of Tiberius. Well, strange. I've never heard him mention you. I thank you for your welcome. And I will visit the temple, as you suggest.
high priest of the temple is Caiaphas, appointed by Rome, which puts him in a very interesting position. On the one hand, he has to appear to be on the side of his own people. On the other hand, he owes his position to Rome. Very narrow path to tread. Welcome, Pontius Pilate. I am Caiaphas, high priest of this temple. We come to wish you well as you undertake the post of governor of Judea. I thank you, priest. Allow me to get right to the point. Rome is displeased with the number of legions it has to keep in this barren land in order to maintain peace. Your taxes don't begin to pay back the costs. You speak of the past. This disorder erupts directly from your corrupt religion, which erupts directly from this temple. That ends today. What your religion forbids, Rome demands. So, how are you finished? Yes, we are almost finished. Not that you had much to do with it. I am the aging supervisor. It's my job to sit back and watch. Yes, well, you do it very well. Lazarus tells me that we will be paid highly for these repairs. Lazarus has never paid anyone highly for oh, anything. I heard that Snyder remark from my sister. Joseph and Jesus are our blood relatives. Do you really think that I would let them work without pay? The truth, Lazarus, you will pay them nothing. Mary and I have worked all day to pay them in food and wine at dinner. <laughs> and so they shall be paid. Highly. <laughs> Where's your husband? He's working in Judea. Uh, he's in the hills, hiding, like the other men, to escape paying their taxes. Right, you owe one third of your income for two years. You were deferred last year, but uh, no longer. Take the goat. Oh, please, no. We won't have milk. The rest is due when I come back through this stinking village next month. If I had been here, I would have thrown the traitor out into the street. Joseph, no one could have done better. A Jew, working for the Romans. He should be ashamed. Ashamed! Come and eat. Please, come and eat. To think I've lived all this time and... and it only gets worse. When? When will there be an end to the suffering of our people? Are you asking me? Are you telling me I can end the suffering? When will he act? He will know when it is time. How will he know? Joseph, stop talking like this. There hasn't been a sign since he was born. No sign. Two days ago, we saw a farmer leaving his house. Losing everything he's worked for. We're not going to lose everything. God will provide for us, for him too. Mother, I know what Father wants. I know he thinks he I thinks should. You should do what your heart tells you. Come back inside, please. Oh! 
Joseph! Joseph! Father? Come, come, Jesus! Father, Father, come. Father, are you all right? What happened? Jesus. Jesus. Yes, I'm here. What is it? I have loved you. I have loved you. As my own. something I must tell you. You see, my father's death has ended my life as I knew it. And it's time now that I find my way. Where is your way? It can't be with you. What have I done? My life is not my own. What have I done to turn you away? It is not you. You love someone else? No. No. I am not who you think I am. I know who you are. And I know you love me, as I love you. Mary, listen to me. You must live your life. Without me. They fail to keep the spirit of the covenant, nor the letter of the law. The prophet Isaiah said, wash yourself. Make yourselves clean. Remove the evil of your doings. Learn 
to do good. Baptist, cleanse me. Come. All who wish to be baptized will be cleansed. But the baptism signifies that your commitment has already been made to hate injustice and fight the battle of the righteous ones. I baptize you with water for repentance. <laughs> What's the matter, John? Don't you recognize your own relatives? Jesus, you're unrecognizable. I am. Look at yourself. <laughs> I'm a prophet crying out in the wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and properly dressed for it. <laughs> Come, sit. Thank you. Eat with us. This man is my blood family. Welcome. Welcome, Jesus of Nazareth. Mm. Thank you. How long has it been? 20 years. How are you? What are you doing now? How are Joseph and Mary? Joseph has recently died. I'm sorry. Will you baptize me? If you confess your sins and dedicate your life to God, of course. Jesus of Nazareth, I baptize you with water for repentance. This is my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. Spirit has led you here and has allowed you to know what men feel when they are being tested by me. But to do this, you must give up every privilege. You, you must, must be like them, them in every way, as fragile, alone, and little as they are. Give up your shield. Abandon the protection of the power that abides in you. Empty yourself of your divinity. Empty yourself of the Father, Jesus. Are you willing to, to feel, feel as men feel, Jesus? Without the protection of the Father, you know it is necessary. The Spirit tells you, not me. Only in this way can we challenge each other. I am willing. Welcome to life, Jesus. So good. 
Good Jesus. Are you hungry? Yes. Commands these stones to become loaves of bread. You mean call upon my father's power? You have the power to command these stones, don't you? I'm only a son. But you have the power. <laughs> If I use it in this way, I will fail his mission. He has asked me to bring his word to man, not to crush them with his power. Just asking for bread. To relieve your hunger, Jesus. Men have hungers. Feed your starving people, Jesus. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. You're missing the point, Jesus. You have the power to solve mankind's problems. Feed these people. Many are starving. You can feed them. I was sent to feed them the truth. They hunger for bread, Jesus. Will they die of hunger because of the hearts of stone of other men, not because God wills it. And you can change all that. And so they are to listen to you. Hmm? A peasant from Nazareth. You and only you have the truth. Sent from God. Others have spoken the truth. And men have destroyed all of them for a thousand years. But you, you they will listen to, huh? Why? They will. And just how will you do that, Jesus? How will you get them to listen to you? So I'm going to help you. with one way to make them notice you, Jesus. You must convince them that you're sent by God. Throw yourself down. He will command his angels to catch you. Then they will see that you're someone to listen to. That's not my father's will. If he wanted simply to test his laws, nature's laws, he would not have sent me. Don't test God for your own purposes. Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus of Jerusalem, Jesus of Egypt, Jesus of Bethany, Jesus of Bethlehem. Where else have you been, Jesus? Nowhere. No. So you cannot understand the stakes. Let me show you. Power, Jesus. Power. Not second in command, but number one. You've never felt that power I have. You've never been able to until now. Now you can be number one. Do you know what that means, Jesus? No. Power is what every man wants more than anything else in the world. They kill for it. There is nothing more precious and it is yours to have. How? Bow down to me, Jesus. Just once in all of existence, before and after time, just once, Jesus. It's a small price, consider the reward. Away with you, Satan! For it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve only him. I will not create a human kingdom by becoming the most powerful, but by being the poorest. For I am the Lamb of God. See you again, Jesus. It's only just begun.
you think he really is the one? It's him. Rabbi! 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 Hey, why do you call me this? We were there, Rabbi, when you were baptized, and John the Baptist called you the Lamb of God. You are the Messiah. Well, are you sure? Yes. No. <laughs> How did you find me? John the Baptist told us where your mother lives. What do you want? To be your followers. Rabbi, where are you staying? Come and see. People are slaves to Rome. Our freedom fighters are being killed, and yet this is how he spends his time. He is a man. Yes, and I fear nothing more. We are fishermen. Our brothers are working right now on the Lake of Galilee. We should be there working with them. What for? To make money? Life has got to be more than that. We went looking for answers, and we met him. And you follow him? Should we? Yes. Why? I am so thirsty. I shall fetch you wine. What's the matter, Andrew? You don't dance. I'll dance. When Israel is free and men are honest. It will be a very slow dance. <laughs> <laughs> it will not come at all if we wait for you. I thought when I found John the Baptist... Andrew! Andrew. But he said you were the one. And you spent your time drinking wine and dancing. There is no wine left. Andrew, I'm sorry. I've disappointed you. I was only... Jesus? Yes? There is no wine left. Yes, Mother, what concern is that to me? Perhaps you could provide? My hour has not yet come. It is time. It is time for Andrew, for John. It is time. Well, my time has not yet come. Jesus will help you with the wine. There is no wine left. Just do exactly what Jesus says. Could you please fill those jugs over there with water? With water? Yes, with water. Yeah? Thank you. Jesus, the jars are filled. Draw some out and take it to the bridegroom. Drink, Andrew. The cup you desired is here. He is the one, Andrew. Have no fear in following him. was here. We found now him! Now you return, grinning like an idiot. 
Can't you feel it? All I feel is wet. Can't you feel his presence, huh? Are you possessed? What are you talking about, Andrew? Look, there, the Messiah. <laughs> Have you gone mad too? <laughs> the quiet one is James. The loud one at the stern is Simon. Have you been telling my brother that you're the Messiah? Are you a rabbi? He's a carpenter. Where are you from? Nazareth. <laughs> <laughs> Nazareth? Yes, Nazareth. Uh, can anything good come from Nazareth? <laughs> <laughs> Your boat is empty. We've been working all night while these two followed you around, searching for... What exactly was it you were searching for? If you took me out, I could fill your nets. Climb aboard, Messiah. The Messiah's going to fill our boat. Bring me those nets! Where are the fish, Messiah? Further out, where it's deep. <laughs> That's original. Simon, he's the one. I've seen him change water into wine. Really? Andrew, scoop up some lake water. I could use a cup of wine. <laughs> scoop up one for me, too. <laughs> Cast your nets here. Now. James? Hey. I'm only going to do this so you won't waste your life following this channel. What do you think, James? Should we drag the net or just let it sink? I don't know. Ask the carpenter. He knows everything about fish. <laughs> Pull it in. Pull it in? It's only been in the water. Pull it in. Of course, James. Pull it in. the fish in the water. Come with me, Peter. I'll make you a fisher of men. My name is Simon. in Canaan. They said you made the wine from water. Is that true? Did you do that? Yes, he did that. He changed the water into wine. I saw it. I uh, saw it. Uh, <laughs> this is the one. Jesus of Nazareth. He changed the water into wine. Rabbi. Master. What is the excitement? The latest messiah and his followers have arrived. This Joseph of Nazareth has just entered the city. Jesus of Nazareth, only moments ago. Is this the one who claims to be the Messiah? He's one of the ones who claims this, my lord. Hmm. Good. Take the girl to him. 
and ask this messiah to judge her. Test him in front of the people. Show him to be a charlatan, and they will lose interest. The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field. And when you find this treasure... This woman caught in the very act of committing adultery. In the law, Moses commands us to stone such women. What do you say, teacher? They're beating him. It's a trap. I was told you preach according to the law of Moses. Do you have an answer, Nazarene? Let anyone among you who is without sin be the first to cast their stone. There's no man here who condemns you? No one, my lord. Neither do I. Go your way. And from now on, do not sin again. I want to see the temple. Tell you more tomorrow. Do you want to come with us? Where? Does it matter? Yes. I go where I want. I'm free. You're not free. But you could be. Treated her like. like she was worth something. So are you. Change your coin to temporal currency. Change your coin to temporal currency. Buy your official earth. For us, go! Pure gold! I have the best right. Buy your this is my father's house. My father's house is a house of prayer, not a house of trade. We pay tithes, but they care more about Caesar than about God. They have forgotten the word of God. Do you say that we should not pay taxes to Rome? That's my money! Whose image is on this coin? Caesar. 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 Caesar! Then give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and give to God what is God's! I will make this the house of God again. I will make this the house of God again! I will make this the house of God! I will make this the house of God! Israel, they 
these things out of here! Get these things out of here! Stop making my father's house a marketplace! all that money? Everything. <laughs> Wealth does not buy life. It does not buy a good heart. And it cannot buy the kingdom of God. You can have it no matter how poor you are. Very poor. <laughs> if you hunger and thirst for righteousness, you will be satisfied. How? How? What do you want from your God? Mercy. Yes. Then show mercy. Love. Then show love. A new house. <laughs> no taxes. <laughs> Remember the prophets. They were persecuted, but they didn't lose faith. Meet it with love. And follow the law of Moses. The law? Yes. Don't worry so much about what you eat and drink. What comes out of your mouth is more important. This, Jared, please. is what can really harm you for eternity. Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast that nursed you. Blessed, rather, are those who hear the word of God and obey it. You are his mother? Yes, I am Jesus' mother. I'm sorry for the pain he caused you today. Well, he didn't mean to, but he did. Men always do. Are you one of his followers? I'm a prostitute. I do not judge. I have been judged, too, in my life. He scares me. <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? Prostitute afraid of a man. That is because in him there is something greater than in any man. Mary? This is a new friend of mine, Mary Magdalene. She wishes to join us. I know, Mary. I'm a prostitute, Jesus. You were. Once. A long time ago. Your father would be so proud. Which one? 
boat. There's 30 pieces of silver in there, and plenty more where that came from if we put our minds to it. Let's give it back. <laughs> <laughs> I can't give it back. It came from many different people. Then give it away. Give it to the poor. To what it took for me to get it. Didn't you hear what I just said? Give it to the poor. Of course, I remember you. Lazarus is dying. Mary and Mars have sent me to find you. I beg of you, come quickly. Thank you, Zara. Thank you for the message. You can ride behind me. We will be there before the sun sets. You go ahead. But, Lord, he is gravely ill. You go ahead. You're not going to come. You're not going to help. I'll come when the time is right. They said you are their friend. <laughs> But you've spoken of Lazarus many times. Yes. If you need to go to no. him, you must. He heals strangers, but does nothing for his friends. Lazarus was a good man, Eric. Yes, he was. A great loss. brother will rise again. Resurrection day? I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me will live. Do you believe this? I know who you are now. Jesus! If you had been here, Lazarus would not have died. Where have you laid him? Lazarus has died. So you may believe. You, take the stone away. Jesus, it has been four days. Take the stone away. Lazarus, come out! It's a miracle! Unbind him!
I was there, Caiaphas. I saw my friend Lazarus come out of the tomb. I smelled his rotting flesh. But he walked out of the tomb alive. Examine the evidence. Jesus and Lazarus are old friends. The sister is in love with Jesus, by your own account. True. So think. Who better to concoct this story with? Lazarus pretends to be dead. He spends a few nights in the cave. The high priest is right. All it takes is one raising from the dead story to make this Jesus a legend. And suddenly, he is the Messiah. There are reports of another raising, a child. There are always reports. That's how these false prophets live. On reports, gossip is the lifeblood. No one, no one can defeat death. Think, you know nothing at all. How can a gentleman who teaches the laws of Moses and keeps our traditions be a danger? A man who loves our people and gives them the courage to live a hard life. Word is spreading among the population that the Messiah has arrived. They will rise up against Rome. And the Romans will crush the revolt. <laughs> Only this time they will crush us along with it. We are the peacekeepers. And if no peace is kept, Rome will destroy the temple along with the nation. Pilate has made that clear. Judas Iscariot, do you know us? You were with Barabbas. Barabbas has been arrested. The zealots have been driven into the mountains. But your rabbi could rally them once again. There is an army waiting. This triumphant entry into Jerusalem. On a donkey in torn robes. It's brilliant. It makes Herod and Pilate look like the asses they actually are. When will Jesus call for revolution? Soon. Soon. We'll be watching for the right moment, Judas. Praise Jesus! Praise Jesus! Praise Jesus! Praise Jesus! Praise Jesus! Praise Jesus! must be arrested in the middle of this ridiculous festival, Passover. No, no, no! Block! Then fast, dear Mario! Find someone to betray him, get him alone, I don't care. But if you don't stop him, he's going to bring Rome down on us all. He must be stopped. Dead. I thought you were a better politician than this, Livio. Paolo! If there's another rebellion... Teach him to come to that attack! There is another rebellion in this miserable place. Rome will throw both of us to the lions. I could kill this messiah tomorrow. Yes. And there would be another right behind him. Or... Or... We could see to it that he becomes a problem for some of his own people. And they can solve the problem for us. Oh. Ah! Oh. Bravo, Gian Mario! Bravo! <laughs> Master, Master, may I speak with you? Yes. Lord, there will never be a better time to strike against Roman power in Jerusalem. There is an army of zealots waiting. The city is full of pilgrims for Passover. They believe in you. Rise up. Ask them to attack the palace. They will. Sheer numbers will overwhelm the Roman guard, and once we are in charge, Rome will leave us alone. Now is the time. Surely, it is your destiny. In two days, it will be Passover. In two days, I will be killed. Please, God, what? not now. No. No, my lord. No, it cannot be. 
Lord, the zealots will join with your followers, thousands at your command. Freedom not just from the Romans, but from all tyranny. The tyranny of sin, Judas, that is my battle, not the Romans. Then you are betraying your people, not saving them. You're the one man who has the power, and yet you refuse. That's betrayal. I'm not here to lead a violent revolution, Judas. You may have no choice. God forbid it, Lord. This must never be killed. It must happen for you. No, Lord. I will not let it happen. None of us will. It is God's will, Peter. No, Lord, it cannot be. You must prevent this. I cannot allow myself to prevent it. I must do as my father has commanded. No, Lord, you cannot die. Your mission is only beginning. Peter. You cannot let this happen. I will fight with all my strength. Satan! Get away from me. It's too much to pay for an animal to be sacrificed. Then go away, ignorant Galilean. I have every right to worship in the temple. A sacrifice is required. Buy or go away! You! Control this only because you lick the boots of Rome. You fool! <laughs> brothers and in the grounds of the holy temple and do you know why this happened? yes because rome rules this city and now the temple they appointed you and now they own you caiaphas it happened because of jesus of nazareth because of the romans these men who attacked the priests were from galilee nazareth they would never have had the strength or the will except for this jesus he makes the people think they can overthrow rome have you forgotten what he did at the temple Kicking over the tables. These Galileans are following his lead. Their speeches inflame the people. He has followers, armed and ready to attack the Romans at any minute. Is that what you want? I want you gone from this council. You blame everyone but yourself. I will not stand by and watch you destroy us. I'm withdrawing until you come to your senses and resign. As I told you before, if we let this man continue, the people will say the Messiah is here. So they will rise up against Rome again. And the Romans will crush the revolt. It is better for you to have one man die for the good of the people than to have the whole nation destroyed. Jesus of Nazareth must die. There are rumours in the streets, priest. Rumours? Don't be coy with me. This man, Jesus, rides an ass into town and is welcomed like a king. Herod wants to kill him but does nothing, and you promised me you can keep peace in the temple, but I had to use swords! 
Rome will not be silent forever. These false messiahs are... Don't speak to me, you messiahs! I don't care about your religion. I care about peace. Peace, yes, I do care about well, peace. Well, then, get control of this man! I fear my power is... limited. So you want me to do your dirty work for you? I have no choice. I cannot endanger Israel for one man. Bring him to me. I will eliminate him. This is my body. forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. days I will rise again. I'm told you have something to say to me. I know where he is. I can deliver him to you. And the price? You think I'm a beggar? Then why do you come to me? Aren't you one of his followers? I am one of his disciples. He chose me himself. Then why do you betray him? He's not the man I thought he was. You want to pay me? 
30 pieces of silver. Done. God, where are we going? We should have stayed in the room. What if we're seen up here? You know they want to kill you. Not now. Rabbi, if all of your followers become deserters, I want you to know I will never desert you. Peter, tonight before the dawn, you will betray me three times. Never. Even if I must die with you, I will never betray you. John, Andrew, Peter, James, come with me. Master, I will never... Not now, Peter. I'm deeply grieved. What I face now would be difficult for any man. And I must face it as a man to fulfill my pledge. Wait here and stay awake with me while I go over there and pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He's out at the Mount of Olives in a garden called Gethsemane. I followed him there with his men. I'll take you there. How many are there? Twelve. How will we know which one he is? The one I kiss is Jesus. <laughs> My father, if this cannot pass unless I drink all of it, then your will be done. But if there's another way, I am so afraid I cannot endure this, my father. The final act begins, Jesus. There will be no reprieve handed down from your father. He's willing for you to go through this every painful step of the way. If it is his will. His will. <laughs> his will for you is to be flogged, spit on, humiliated, Dragged through the streets, laughed and tried, convicted and crucified. You've seen crucifixion, but you never felt it. You never felt the pain of nails through your hands, of nails through your feet. It's agony. It's hours in agony. The weight of your own body crushes your lungs. You suffocate slowly. And you will endure this alone. Look at them over there. They can't even stay awake. And they'll run as soon as Judas shows up. You know I'm right. And it's all in vain, Jesus. No. No. Not in vain. Through me, God will reveal his love for mankind. God? That unseen, heartless burn in hell, watch your children starve, God? Not in vain. Oh, yes. In vain. Let me show you. Crusades in your name. Jesus Christ, they shout when they get. Killing for Christ will be a big business through the centuries, Christ Jesus. <laughs> and this is what you're dying for. This is what your agony will give them. Another reason to kill and torture each other. Don't you think they have enough reasons already? Without you going through all this, Jesus? It's so easy. It is so easy, Jesus. Just ask him to come get you. A witch hunt in your name. In the name of Christ our Lord in heaven, I execute you for false witness, for false beliefs, for false words, 
and for defiling the name of Jesus of Nazareth. guy doesn't like the pimple on the nose of that guy, but you can stop it tonight. You can stop it. Come down of that cross they have waiting for you. Why die in agony when you can take control? Make the earth a paradise and poverty and hunger and war. You can do it. It's within your power right now. No, I cannot. Oh, yes, you can. It is not can. God's will. It's not God's will to end the war. What kind of God is that? One who loves mankind so much that he gives them freedom of choice. He has not created them so he can be their dictator. He gives them the choice of doing good or evil. And this is what they choose. <laughs> yes. I forgive you. I don't want your forgiveness. Look, here comes Judas and his mob. They don't have the capacity to love like you want them to. This will never happen. Just... Lift your hands, Jesus, and wave these all away. Go home, Jesus, go home to your father. Now, don't die in vain. Don't die alone. I'm not alone. I'm with my father. You will die in vain, no. Jesus. I'm in the hearts of men. I will die for the everlasting kindness of the human heart created by the father so that men will make his image shine once again. And those who will want to will find in me the strength to love until the end. Friend, do what you're here to do. with a kiss. You're a fool. You are the fool. You followed him around like a dog. I never saw that man before. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. He claims to be the Messiah. His disciples claim he raised a man from the dead. Impossible. And not when you're the son of God. Is that who you claim to be? Is this a trial? It is our duty, Seth to protect the temple from false prophets. Your duty, Brother Jared, is of no concern here. You fear him because the people listen to him, because he asks us to become better Jews. Who do you say you are? Be careful what you say. Answer. Do you claim to be the son of God? It is you who says it. He admits it. Blasphemy! I cannot deny it. This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. You're a liar. <laughs> Take him to Pilate. 
I swear, I don't know what they're talking about. What are you doing coming here at this hour? We bring you Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus. So this is the one who makes a mockery of Herod Antipas and causes my high priest to tremble. Jesus of Nazareth. I am Pontius Pilate, governor of Judea. I know who you are. Well, what accusation do you bring against this man? But he also proclaims himself as king. He denies Rome's power in this land. Oh, Caiaphas, stop wasting my time. Take him and judge him according to your law. This crime, my lord, demands a death sentence. And only you can give this punishment. Leave him with me. Jesus of Nazareth. You have an interesting face. Are you the king of the Jews, Jesus? You ask this on your own. What did others tell you about me? No, I'm not a Jew! Your own nation and chief priests have handed you over to me! My kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my followers would be fighting. Oh, so you are a king? But I was born to testify to the truth. Really? What is the truth? Everyone wants to know the truth, Jesus. Do you know the truth? No. I didn't think so. Too much to ask. Bring him! I found no case against this man. This man is perverting our nation, forbidding us from paying taxes to your emperor, and saying that he himself is the Messiah, the king. Caiaphas. first. He stirs up people by teaching throughout all Judea, from Galilee where he began, even to this holy city. He is from Galilee? Yes. <laughs> that, that comes under Herod's jurisdiction. I can't rule on a crime from Herod's people. And you're lucky, my friend. Herod just happens to be in Jerusalem for Passover. Go tell him the truth. Take him to Herod! But, my lord! Stop worrying, Caiaphas. It's a game, just a game. We have to have some fun occasionally. Jesus of Nazareth. This is Jesus of Nazareth. I've been wanting to meet you for a long time. <laughs> Welcome. Livia, look. We are visited by Jesus of Nazareth. Behold the Messiah. This is a man of God. I apologize for this Roman's behavior. You're a man of God, are you not? Yes. Well, I heard wonderful things, healing the sick and such. Calls himself the King of the Jews. Quiet, Livio. You will be the King of the Jews. Is that true? Do you crown yourself king? See, see, that disturbs me, because I have the idea that I should be the king of Israel, not a dirty, uneducated prophet from <laughs> Nazareth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, but I'm willing to overlook all that, if you just show me a sign. Everyone is talking about you curing blind men and lepers. 
Lepers? Oh. oh, yes, darling. He is a... Supposedly, he touches them and they are cured. He touches the unclean? Yes. Let him out of here and don't touch him. I'm only asking for a small sign. Um, it doesn't have to be a big healing. It's just that this knee is causing me a lot of... Don't touch him! <laughs> is that it, Jesus? Are you really going to stand there like a statue? He won't even speak to me. Silence can be a politician's best weapon. Kings must talk. Talking is a requirement, didn't you know that? There's never been a mute king. Behold the mute king of the Jews. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. We understand very clearly, Your Majesty. <laughs> 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 Behold the king. Behold the king. And get him out of here. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, do not let this charlatan escape. Exactly, a charlatan. What do you care? Even false prophets can have power. Let Rome handle it. Well, what a surprise. Jesus is back. You mean to tell me that Herod did nothing? As you predicted. Do you not hear the many accusations they make against you? Treason, claiming to be God, insurrection. Do you answer any of these charges? And now we let the people speak. You brought me this man as one who was perverting the people. I have examined him in your presence and have found him not to be guilty of any of your charges. Passover? The custom at Passover. As is the custom at Passover, I, as representative of Rome, release to you a prisoner. I give you Jesus of Nazareth! Jesus, they'd rather have a murderer than you. Bring me Barabbas and flog this one! Barabbas. Hail, 
hail the king of the Jews. I release Barabbas. Without a sword, you raised an army. You could have taken the city. I fought them, you wouldn't. So the sword will live to fight another day, Messiah. Watch this. I've thought of the final blow. I am innocent of this man's blood. See to it yourselves. Crucify him. to the Romans so that the people would rise up for money. I was willing to die for him. He lost the revolution. And he refused. I had to make it happen. I, th I thought he'd find his anger under the Roman whip. I thought the people would follow him and rise up. Just drag himself to death. People have turned against him. Why? You killed him. Yeah. You abandoned him! I would have died for him.
Taken? Just taken his body. Oh, oh, Please, oh. John, where? No! It's not safe. Gone. He has risen. Risen now, the body's stolen. He said, after three days, I will rise again. Risen? He's alive. <laughs> Mary, he's alive! He said he would rise after three days. He's alive! Come on, we must tell the others, come on! Woman, 
Why are you weeping? You carried my lord away. Tell me where you laid him. Please. Mary. Let me go now. And have him yet to send it to my father. Now go to the others and tell them I'm alive. Mary, you go and tell them for me. Ridiculous. We saw him crucified. We buried him ourselves. How can he be alive? How could Lazarus be alive? How could blind men see? I'm sorry, but I don't believe that death is conquered that easily. There are too many other possibilities. He is the Son of God. Jesus himself said there would be false prophets. We have to be careful. This could be a trick. Thomas, you must believe. I want to, Mary. Believe me, I want to. But my mind won't let me. I'd have to see for myself. Thomas. I saw him. Are you sure it was him? <sighs> Did you see the wounds in his wrists? See? Can't be sure. Something else is going on here. Unless I see the mark of the nails, no. Unless I put my finger in the mark of the nails, I will not believe. Peace be with you. My God! Yes, you believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who believe without seeing. Now go to all the world and preach what you have heard. Preach the good news. I am with you. Until the end of the world.